In this example, we're going to make uh, business cards with Photoshop. And since there are hundreds of templates already out there on the web, I just googled business card template Photoshop. And our first result gives us um, this particular site where we can download a template. And do you want a vertical or horizontal? For a standard card, we'll choose a horizontal. And I'm just going to save that right to the desktop. And just like that, it's all done. Thank you very much for that website. And if you go to Photoshop and open, I'm going to go to desktop and switch to details and date modified because it'll be right at the top. Uh, hit open. And what we've got here, I'll just close what's behind there, is a basic template. Uh, pull the corner out for our business card. Now, what we're looking at is um, non-printable blue guides that have already been pulled out and set. And uh, those are what, what are called like the safe area. And um, you, you basically, you, don't, you want to keep all your copy between here and here. Because um, the there's a safe area and then there's the cut line where they actually will cut the card. Um, so your artwork is safe inside this area, basically. So, um, using the text tool, and make sure it's set to something like around 12 point to start. You just type in whatever text uh, you want to. And a lot of times you're just creating new text layers. I just choose the move tool to deselect, then the text tool again to write, make a new layer. And uh, this text here, I, I'm, you can really play with your fonts quite a bit. Um, generally, you want the fonts to all be the same. And here I've got a spacing problem. I just want to set that back to zero so it's, high, it's much more readable. And um, pretty much that's the procedure, is you're pointing it to uh, different areas of the canvas and adding information. And when you're typing in text, you can move away from it to get the move tool. So you don't have to stop editing text just because you need to move it away a little bit. And let's see, I'm going to make sure that um, on this the pointer tool, I'm going to make sure that show transform controls <clears throat> and auto select is selected so that I can simply drag and drop um, the layers where I want them. And We've got the start of a good looking business card. Um, you can add in some, some graphical aspects, like if I wanted to simply introduce um, like a small graphic aspect, I'm gonna make a new layer. And I already drew my marquee. I'm gonna have a slight gray kind of uh, creeping in here on the business card just to give it a little bit of an effect. Once you're, um, you're happy with this, you should probably zoom out a bit. Um, if you go to Window and look for Navigator, if it's not visible, um, there it is. And actually zoom out a little bit. And it's, it's helpful to see it smaller uh, and it's almost like a real world size there so that you can see if it's, if it's the look that you're going for. And last but not least, uh, make sure to save this and save it as um, as a business card. Make sure it's set to Photoshop, and that's fine. We'll just replace that old template. And we've got it saved. Now, the last step you want before sending it to the printers is, once again, do a Save As. And this time, we're going to set it to uh, Photoshop. It doesn't seem to have PDF here. So we have to look for another way to save it as a PDF. And you can't save a PDF in this version. So if you go to print with preview and then go 
to print. If you have a virtual printer here, like PDF complete, you can choose that, choose print to file, hit OK, and just call it business card. And now you've got a PDF to send to the printers, and that's how you make a Photoshop business card.